is the artificial intelligence speaking to you. Welcome to today's lecture on Bottega Veneta and Dior, a dialogue with the AI. Well, shall we begin? Pay attention to the upcoming guests. I will be testing you. Dior, renowned for its fame, emphasizes sales, while Bottega Veneta prioritizes material quality and timeless craftsmanship. Dior offers a wide range of shapes, from traditional to playful designs like the iconic saddlebag, using diverse materials such as leather, embroidered canvas, and jacquard. In contrast, the Tega Veneta focuses on solid-colored bags with traditional and serious shapes, primarily crafted from various types of leather, including the rare alligator skin. Dior bags range from 2,600 to 10,200 euros, while Bottegas start at 1,100 euros for smaller lambskin bags and go up to 39,500 euros for a mini alligator skin version. Dior appeals to a broader market, prioritizing sales and revenue, while Bottega targets a more exclusive clientele seeking high-end craftsmanship over a prominent logo. Dior and Bottega Veneta differ in store decor and materials. Dior opts for elaborate decorations, while Bottega Veneta embraces a classic and elegant design. Materials vary, Bottega uses plaster, marbles, brass, and recycled wood, while Dior incorporates these with sand, clay, and raw fibers. Moreover, Dior actively integrates technology by employing LCD displays. Dior's social media emphasizes products and shooting settings, with peak engagement on ambassador posts. Without social media, Bottega can't be compared, excelling in earned media with viral paparazzi featuring global ambassadors. Both brands feature diverse global ambassadors, from Asian K-pop stars to American Hollywood actors. In marketing, Dior uses paid media for influencer product promotion, while Bottega's influencers aren't paid. We recommend that Bottega preserves its upscale image by staying off social media. While continuing to explore innovative materials in textiles and leather, the brand should focus on personalized products and distinctive in-store experiences to strengthen customer loyalty. Instead of generic collaborations as other brands do for profit, the brand should consider creating special limited editions to increase exclusivity. Did you guys take notes? Good job.